Hey guys, welcome to Homemade Homestead. If you're new around here, my name is Rachel. This is a different kind of video than we usually do on our channel, but this winter I have been inspired to kind of declutter the entire house. I want to have a great big yard sale in the spring just to get rid of some stuff. I feel like our house is just getting cluttered with more and more stuff. We've been in this house for four years and it seems like every year we just keep accumulating more and more. So, I want to be able to bless other families. Like some families have blessed us with so many clothes, hand-me-downs from when their kids outgrew them. I want to be able to do that to other friends and family who maybe have kids that are a little bit younger than us that we can pass our belongings on to them if they're in good shape, which some of them are. And also toys, books, all that kind of stuff. So besides doing a yard sale, I want to be able to give quite a bit of stuff away too. Since it's about fall time, this is when I like to go through all of the kids' clothes, make sure they have enough stuff for the winter time. If they have a jacket, if they have enough pants, long sleeve shirts. I do leave some short sleeve shirts out and also shorts because if we go on a trip or a vacation to where it's a little bit warmer, then I wanna be able to not have to dig through boxes and bins to pull those out. So I do leave some of that out. Also with short sleeves, I mean, it's, this is just my opinion. When our house is really warm, sometimes I like to wear short sleeves in the winter and just throw on a jacket or something like that if we're really cold. So I still keep some of the summer stuff out, but I'm gonna start by going through my oldest clothing today. He is eight years old and he's in about an eight to 10 clothing size. So we're gonna start with the pants. I like to keep between five to 10 pairs of pants for him. Honestly, if he had it his way, he would have like three pairs of pants and he likes to rotate through them. I have to remind him, hey, you have more than just those three pairs of pants, you know, try to rotate through them. And same with shirts. He like has his favorite ones and he just wants to wear them all the time. I don't know if your kids are the same way, but when some people are like, oh, you only give this much clothing for your kids, it's because honestly, they don't want a ton of clothes. They have their favorites and they just want to stick with it. So we're going to start with our oldest and we're going to make sure he has about five to 10 pairs of pants that fit him, that'll last him about through the springtime is when I like to go through them again. Mom. So about every six months, oh, yeah. that's a good start. I hope we can get through all of his clothes today. I feel like that is doable. If we get more done, awesome. If not, it's a good start, right? All right, we're in the kid's closet. Look at all these pairs of pants and he only wears like three of these. So we're gonna go through and see what we can pair down. And then over here I have my boys together. So long sleeve and short sleeve we're gonna go through. And then back here I have my two year olds. We're gonna do this another day. But we're gonna start with our older ones and see what we can pair down. I'm actually gonna have him tell me what are his favorites. And if there's a question, if I think that looks too small, that's not gonna fit you, I'll even have him try them on. For the pants, I usually have him try on almost every pair that I feel is in good shape, that is his size, just to see if they actually fit him. Sometimes sizes are a little weird, but I'll use my eyes and my judgment. So next on to these. We are on to the pants. Look at all these pants. So I'm gonna have him go through and try each one on if they fall into that eight to 10 size. And some of them have big holes in the knees. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do, if we're gonna keep those or pass them along. Okay, so these are a no. Okay, you got one more to try on. Okay, so these are the keep pile. Well, we still have 11 pairs of pants, but it's better than it was. All right, so I just had him dump out his socks and underwear drawer, and I'm having him tell me what he likes, what he doesn't like, things with holes, uh, things that don't fit him, we'll put aside. I like to do it in the fall because I wanna make sure that our kids have the winter stuff that they need, you know, like warm hats, good socks, coats, if they need something like that. Okay, so these gloves fit you. You have four winter hats. And now we're going through socks. We have so far five pairs. And then I like to go through and see these ones match. This one has a hole. So I'll put this in like the rag. You don't like long socks? Well, there, that pair is the one that I like. That long socks. This one? You. Yeah, that's do the one I Do they still fit you? Yes, that's the one I use for soccer. Okay. 
Um, what about these ones? I wore those ones, but they're really tight. They're tight. Okay. Uh, what about these ones? I don't think I've ever tried those on. Okay, perfect. Will you try those on, please? Yeah. Alright, next is the PJs. He's got two drawers full of PJs. That's actually quite a lot. He's got warmer PJs and like, and his uh, summer PJs, his t-shirt and shorts. I'm going to try to pare this down. He honestly doesn't wear half of these and he doesn't need that many to go through the winter. And I know other family members, friends could definitely use some of these. So let's go through all this. Try yes, I like those ones. Are they too small? Nope. So yes. Got these. I like those, but they're really small. They're small. Okay. We'll put that in the small pile. Buy a person, uh, Agent P. All right. So we went through all the PJs. He's got about ten T-shirts, um, three or so PJ shorts. Sometimes, even in the winter time, he likes to wear T-shirt and shorts and just layer on the blanket because we we like to sleep a little bit cooler and then pile on warm blankets, right? And then he's got about three to four long, like comfy pants, like uh, sweatpants. And then he has two PJ sets. So, oh, and some thermals too. So this will work out great. I'll get these put in his drawers. Right, if I put this down, I say it's bad. That's how many shirts I have. There's a lot of shirts. Would you get a Walmart bag? Uh, no, right. All right, do you like this one? Yes. Does it fit you? Yes. Yes. You like this one? Yes. Yeah, this one's brand new. I love that one. Okay. <laughs> about uh, this one? This one's Dodgers. Do you like this one? Um, I've worn it. It's alright, yeah. Okay. I mean, I won't say it's my favorite. Yes, I like that one. You like this one? And okay. I like this one. Okay. Fits me. I like this one. Like this one. Okay, well, let's look at this one. I thought this one might have a hole in it somewhere. Yes, it does. But it it's does. One of my yeah. Favorites. Well, we'll set it aside yeah. and we'll see if there's some that you like as well. Okay. Okay. Well, there's plenty. I like like that one. Like that one. That's a good one. You like this one? This is there's doubles of that green. No, it's a blue shirt. Okay. Pink. This one's a little bit big, so we'll yeah. set this aside for maybe winter. Then that's long sleeve. You like this That's one too? That's a double. That's a double. You have That's two of those? Double. So can we pass on one of these to somebody else? Yeah. Okay. I don't need two of them. Okay. That's a good decision. Mom, I want, I want Could that you one. put this in the bag? Yeah. Thanks. Okay, so here is all of his t-shirts. He actually has a lot of t-shirts. Like I said before, t-shirts are just fine in the winter time because we wear jackets, we layer them, and sometimes it's kind of warm in our house anyway, so we still use t-shirts. So he probably has about 20 t-shirts and he's got about six long sleeve shirts. That is plenty for him for winter time. We were actually able to get rid of about 15 shirts and pass those on to another family member. So yay, we're making progress. All right, next thing is shorts. We're getting a little tired of going through things and he's getting a little tired of trying stuff on, but we are so close. We just have the shorts, jacket, and then we're done. So, yay! <laughs> Let's declutter these shorts. Look at this massive pile that we're going to give to some family or friends. I'm so excited. This actually doesn't do it justice. Let me fold this, make it organized, and you can really see how many things we're getting rid of. We're getting rid of seven pairs of pants, one pair of shorts. pairs of shorts and about 20 t-shirts or long sleeve shirts even some socks that he doesn't care for how they fit him well thank you guys so much for joining me today in this decluttering little adventure maybe it motivates you to get rid of some stuff out of your house too um, it's so nice to get rid of things in your house and like it gives you a sense of like ah right? And then plus we get to benefit another family or friend um, with these clothes that we don't really need. He has plenty of other clothes. He's really set for the winter time. Now I know that I don't need to buy anything when it comes to winter.
Now this is a different kind of video that we did today. So if you guys like this style, if you want to keep seeing these decluttering videos, please give this a thumbs up so I know to make more of these. I'm going to be going through every one of my kids clothing and hopefully toys and every room in our house and help it to be a little bit less cluttered. It gives me more peace of mind. It gives, it just takes the stress out of it. So thank you guys for joining me today with this no makeup, hair up in a bun kind of video. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't yet, I hope you would subscribe and leave a comment down below. Are you guys decluttering too this winter? And hope you're having a wonderful day. And we'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye now. Thank you.